Hello, this is our wrap. Today's budget. It has no links to your bank, no tracking, and no ads. Coffee, bike repairs, cloud storage. With so many expenses every day, it's hard to know what you can spend each day. Imagine a simple number showing you what you can spend each day, guilt-free. Add some information and we'll calculate your daily budget. Tap the plus button below to add your income. Enter your take-home pay. We break your money down into daily budgets, helping it to go further. If you're a freelancer, you can add project-based income under one-off income. If you're not earning right now, you can enter your savings or any money you have as cash on hand. And set how long it should last, the app will evenly distribute it to make sure it lasts until your next paycheck. Next, add a recurring expense, such as rent or mortgage payments. You can add your other expenses now or later on. I'm adding another recurring expense, my monthly gym membership. This chart shows your budget over the next days. Tap on a day to see the budget breakdown. What you don't spend today is added to tomorrow's budget. Now, you can start adding other expenses throughout the day. For example, if you go out for lunch, enter it in the app. When you go buy groceries, enter it in the app. The app tells you how much is left to spend. Let's check out the savings jar page. It's for long-term savings and complements your short-term budget planning. You can access it with a toggle on the main page. Save a set amount regularly and spend the reset guilt-free. Tap the plus button and choose how much you want to put aside every month. Let's say, you want to save $100 every month. All set, we'll put this amount aside every day. You can get busy spending the rest. You can see how much you're saving this month or this year. The app also shows an estimate of how much you'll save by the end of the month or year. Tap the piggy toggle to return to the today's budget. You'll see that the daily savings amount is deducted from your budget. When you go over your budget, the app turns red to remind you to slow down on spending. When you want to buy something expensive that's over your budget, use the savings goal feature. Enter how much you want to save up.
and choose the target date. The app sets aside a little each day towards your goal. Similarly, when you make a bigger purchase, like weekly groceries or gas for your car, you can tap the Spread It Out button. You can choose how many days to spread the cost over, so your budget isn't hit all at once. This way, it matches how you use those purchases over time. On the log page, you can see all your expenses, income, and savings for each day. You can group them however you like, so you can make the log page just right for you. On the insight page, you'll find charts to help you understand your expenses, income, and savings. Scroll to the bottom to customize the page. For example, you can move the monthly summary chart to the top. If you don't have any fixed costs, you can hide them. You can personalize this page to display what matters most to you. The app also includes a dark mode. It's perfect for using it in the evening while you relax. When you're done spending for the day, tap Settle for today to move any leftover money into your savings jar instead of adding it to tomorrow's budget. It's an easy way to save a little extra when you can. Now you know how the app works. Enjoy, and happy budgeting!